for those of you that have used the Udemy app on an Android device, you would have noticed that when you go on the search tab, this is the animation that appears. The search input nicely slides in from the right and the background dims with the keyboard appearing. Clicking on the content, we notice that the keyboard disappears, the icon changes and the dim background becomes white again. Though this animation does not exist on the iOS version of the app, I've just tried to set it up here. As you can notice, we get the same animations and the background dimming also disappears once we click on the content. So in today's video, we'll go ahead and try and duplicate this particular animation. So I've opened up my React Native project in my favorite code editor, Visual Studio Code, and I'm running it on my iPhone simulator. Here, let's start by installing a few dependencies. The first one is gonna be React Native Animatable. So we'll say npm install React Native Animatable. This will help us with the animations of our app. Next, we'll install a set of icons from React Native Vector Icons. Once we have both the dependencies installed, we're good to go. So here, let's just get rid of this boilerplate that we had. Pass in one view here with a flex of one. Inside this, we want to have a header on the top. So let's give it a height of say 80 and a background color of a nice red. So there we have our header. Inside the header, we want to have another component which has a white background and it holds the icon and the text input. So let's pass in another view here with a height of say 50 and a background color of white. To align this to the center, we need to pass the parent a justify content of center. We also want to give it a padding horizontal of five to space it out from the edges. Now inside this view, we want to have an icon and a text input like we discussed. So let's import in text input here from React Native. And similarly, we'll import icon from React Native vector icons slash ionicons. Here, let's pass in icon. And the icon that we want is iOS search. Save that, we're getting a very small icon here. Let's increase its size by saying style font size of 24 and let's pass in a text input below it with a placeholder of search. Obviously the search is coming below this right now because by default the flex direction is column. Let's change that. So in the parent here, let's say flex direction of row. And as we can see they're side by side now. We also want to give it a padding of five and an align items of center to align them horizontally. Let's also increase the size of this placeholder by saying style, font size of 24, and let's give it a margin left of say 15. That looks much better. We'll just refresh this. We see there's no animation as of now. We want this to slide in from the right. For that, let's import an animatable. So we'll say import all as animatable from React Native Animatable. Now let's change this view up and pass it an animatable dot view. Again, the closing tag will also become animatable dot view, and then we can pass it an animation, which is slide in right. And as you can see, it's nicely animating. We'll also change up the duration and set its duration to a value of say 500, which is half a second. Now, here in our content view, let's display an array of data in a list. For that, I'm just gonna pull in that array of data. It's nothing but an array of categories. We'll display it using flat list from React Native. Once we've got flat list, we'll pass it in here, say flat list. For the data, we'll pass in our list items that we just imported. And for the render item method, we have first have the curly brackets, then we have rounded brackets, inside which we grab each item. And for each item, we'll display a component which will just be a text with the name of the item. So as you can see, we're getting all our items here. Let's just style this by giving each item a padding of 20 and a font size of 20 as well. That looks much better. We're getting an error here for the keys. So each item should have a unique key. We'll use the key extractor and we'll say for each item an index. Let's get the index dot to string to get the individual key. So now we need a way to set the background color once the keyboard opens up. 
For that, we'll use the state here. So let's say state, and we create a value called search bar focused, and we set the initial value to false. So here in our flat list, we'll style the search bar by saying background color, and we'll say if this dot state dot search bar is focused, set the background color to a black. Otherwise, leave it as white. So to start with, search bar focused is false. Let's set that to true. And we can see we're getting that background color. Now, we need to detect when the keyboard opens to change the background color. For that, we'll pull in keyboard here from React Native. And we'll set up our component did mount method. So we'll say component did mount. Here we'll set up our keyboard listeners. So the first listener that we'll set up will be this dot keyboard did show and we'll use the keyboard here to add listeners and the listener we want to add is keyboard did show. The moment keyboard did show is detected, we want to call the method keyboard did show. So here let's set up keyboard did show and we'll just pass in an alert here keyboard visible. And now you see when the keyboard opens up, we get an alert which says keyboard visible. That's obviously not what we want to do there. So let's get rid of that. Let's also set up two more listeners here. I'm just going to duplicate this. And there will be the keyboard will show and the keyboard will hide. Let's also set up these two methods for these listeners. So we'll say keyboard will show. And lastly, we'll say keyboard will hide. So basically, for Android, keyboard will show does not work. So we need to have keyboard did show here. So what we want to do for iOS as of now is when the keyboard shows up, we want to say this dot set state and set search bar focused to true. So when the keyboard opens up, you see the background is dimmed. But when we close the keyboard, it does not become white again. So that will set here in the keyboard will hide. We'll say this dot set state search bar focused false now if we test this out we see it becomes dim and it becomes white again for android we need to set this up in keyboard did show so here we'll say this dot set state search bar focused and set that to true obviously if we want we can use platform and detect if it's android or not and then do this that would probably be a better way but for this demo we'll leave it like this so we just need to do one more thing which is to animate the icon. Before that, let's just fix a bug here, which is the text input. Let's give it a flex of one so that the clickable area is bigger. Now, for the icon, let's wrap it into a view, which is an animatable dot view so that we can animate it. I will set its animation based on whether the search bar is focused or not. So we'll set this dot state dot search bar focused. If it's focused, then fade in the icon from the left Otherwise, fade in the icon from the right. Similarly, for the icon name, we'll check if this dot state dot search bar focused, then show a back arrow by saying MD arrow back. Otherwise, show the search icon. So we have the search icon. When we click on this, we see we get the back icon. We can obviously change up the duration of this by giving it a duration of 400 milliseconds. And that looks much better. So that covers today's video. I hope you guys like this and try this out. And please like, share and subscribe.